So how are we doing my no five and senior retention brothers? So in today's video, I'm going to discuss with you guys what I've learned so far on this no five and senior retention journey. What benefits I experienced? What are the things that many people actually do not discuss on no five and senior retention? You know, we see many men talking about many things here and there. Most of them are just benefits and things like that, but Let's really dig in deep into the snow fab and seam retention thing and see what it's really about, what actually happens. So first thing I found out is that you really are your own energy. Okay, as I kept going on the seam retention journey, my energy just kept becoming better and better and better. I started becoming more positive about life. I had a positive outlook on different things. I used to have anxiety and depression. Now it's just me just in the present, in the now. So the energy that I have right now, it's not just about the physical energy that I have. It's also mental and also the vibe and the aura that I'm giving off. This attracts the proper people into your life. So if you guys are thinking that why am I not seeing female attraction? Well, the main reason is because those females more than likely are not at the same level as you. Even if they may look like they're a 10 in the books and 10 to many other men, they are not at the same mindset as you. See, that's the difference. That's why you're probably not also going to attract many other men because they're not at the same level as you either. Their energy is not matching yours. Yours is much higher. You are a much more masculine kind of guy, much more secure with yourselves. So you're not really going to make friends with people who are always extremely insecure. Yes, you can help them out, but once they reach to your level, you're gonna feel a much better connection with them. So also your desires, your desires start coming more towards you. And the reason this happens, we know, is because we start working towards these things what we want in life. Most of us men want, let's say, to make us look better, a better house, a better car, you know, a better job. These are great things to work towards, but the thing is that you actually become goal-oriented on this journey. You actually start chasing these things. You actually start working for these things. And I don't wanna always use the word chase because it sounds almost like a negative thing like you know you're not supposed to chase after anything it's supposed to come to you you're just supposed to work towards it so I'm gonna try to use as less as I possibly can but this is what happens so your entire mindset starts to change you start becoming more positive about different things in life and the main way I got this is by worshiping God all the time see and the vibe that you give out is something completely different than what you may have been giving out before you were on this journey or even in the beginning now you're at a different level where when you see people especially young kids out there who are literally just wasting their time you actually get angry about it this is not about you getting old okay it's not that it's literally you and your brain getting to a mature state that maturity that a man is supposed to have in life. You're getting to that. And that is what many young men out there may not understand. They might look at you as, oh, this guy's just getting old, you know? He's not really into partying anything like that maybe because he doesn't have that energy anymore. It's not about that though. It's really about you changing your entire mindset to become a person who's gonna become more productive, eventually gonna want to become the best version of himself you will give out what you receive it's going to be as simple as that this is what the main energy thing comes out to the more love you give out to people the more good solid advice you give out to people to help people the more it's going to come back your way and this might sound almost kind of like a cliche thing because people are just like oh people are not like that but let me tell you Remember what I said, the right people will walk into your life. The people who actually care, the people who actually care about your well-being, the people who actually want to learn from you, want to learn your teachings, want to learn what you're about. 
these people will walk into your life. And it gives you a great sense of self when you can actually help out these people. And also a great sense of self when you actually meet people who are at the same energy level as you. And you guys will just have an amazing vibe. You guys will have amazing ideas, amazing business ideas, amazing ideas when it comes to eating healthier, working out better. All these things where you can improve on, you're both going to have a very similar mindset. Eventually making you guys into great friends. Another thing, this is what I've noticed with me. This personally happened with me a lot of times is that females that are like me and there actually are many females who are actually surprisingly secure with themselves. They're actually focused on their goal, on their career. These females are actually the ones I'm actually attracting. Not the females who just want to have sex or just want that ego boost and just want to post pictures of their ass on Instagram just to look good and just to get likes, you know, just so she can feel better about her insecure self. I'm not attracting those anymore. I used to, definitely, because that was me at one point in this journey too. Towards the very beginning, I was still extremely insecure about my looks. I was insecure about how much money I made, about all those kind of different things. And the females I attracted were females who wanted sex, who wanted to get that ego boost, who wanted a boyfriend they can control completely. Those are the ones I was attracting. Now I'm not attracting those anymore. The females, and these are very, very few. Let me put that out there. Very few females. I'm going to say two out of a million. And that is me being generous. Complete, I'm being completely honest. Two out of one million that would actually want to be my friend because I'm not looking for sex. I'm not looking for that from women at all right now. All I'm looking for is having solid friendships where I can actually, they can actually give me great ideas about my business, vice versa, you know, things like that. I'm not really looking for having sex or anything like that. I'm probably never going to be looking for stuff like that anyways, you know, but that in turn attracts females anyway. So it's a win-win. But see, they just come to you. They gravitate towards you. I met this really amazing female and she's really on her grind. Like she's doing her thing. She, I mean, every female is insecure to some extent. Obviously, you know, they wear makeup and they dress well and all that. But she's really on her grind. I really appreciate that in a female because there are very few females out there like that. Some females may say, oh, I'm making premium accounts on different social media platforms that's me grinding that female really just needs to get a life because she really is so insecure about herself that she really feels she can't learn anything in life at all so what she has on her body already even no matter if she may not even have the best curves she will still think that's her best quality that is all she has that's very very sad for a lot of females and I just feel like I'm building great relationships with females like these who are actually on their grind, actually want to become the best version of themselves as well. I'm attracting them towards myself. See, it's really all about energy. Not a lot of people on Team Retention NoFap really talk about this. Or if they do, they don't really get in depth with it. You know, They just say, oh, you manifest things into your life. Okay, that's great. How does that actually happen? You know, what do you actually manifest into your life so this is what things that are coming into my life and things that i put out there such as love such as solid advice such as helping others this is all just coming right back to me this is literally the universe working for you as many people say obviously i believe it's also god working for me i'm god above the universe all the time for me i have become a lot more mentally and emotionally stable. This is one of the best things I've experienced on NoFap and semen retention. Because as this journey keeps going by, you realize that the things that you got angry over, even at one point on semen retention, I actually thought I understood this. But even more months pass now, and I understand it at a completely different level. I, I can literally be having a conversation with a person face to face in person and I can also be at a balcony where I'm just looking at the two and seeing where whatever they're discussing where their point stands 
You know, it's like a completely different mind game that you have. You become so much more, just more knowledgeable, more smart when it comes to negotiating, when it just comes to persuading somebody about something, when it comes to giving real, true information, real facts about something that you strongly believe in. It becomes a lot more easier. You just, you don't go crazy and start ranting about things, you know, you don't start getting mad easily. You don't try to make yourself always appear right. It, I really am on a different level where I can actually see the other person's point of view and then say what I want to say, you know, and then eventually building them a bridge where they can cross towards to me. I know this may sound kind of manipulative, but it's really not. It's really just about me knowing my facts. You know, I'm not just saying things just to say them. I read things, I understand them, then I explain them. I don't just go straight ahead and try to explain different things that I have no idea what, it, what it's about. So I have to, you understand all those things and then you express your, people may say opinion, but I say facts because, you know, I read things, I understand them, and then I explain them. What else happens? Okay, another good thing I found out. I really realized that I mean, many men may say this is something that you've learned a long time ago, especially by dating coaches, you know, pickup artists. But you really are the prize. Like, yes, I always try to get this in my head whenever I was in the beginning of semen retention or even before I started the whole NoFab thing. I really started, I really tried to get it in my head. The advice was already out there. It was already out there that men are the prize. It just never really hit my mind properly I, I never really embedded the thought in my mind but now when I'm at this point in my life where I've been accomplishing things every single day I've been helping out people from all around the world and I've been giving out solid advice to help other men become the best version of themselves I slowly slowly start to realize that I actually really am the prize when it comes to females definitely like when it comes to females there's really no competition for men i mean i hope no feminist is watching this because she might report my video but it really is that way you really are the prize what you have you that's because see this will happen my whole entire mindset has changed and now i realize this see obviously you'll still have to approach many females let's just discuss this in female attraction perspective okay you are the prize and you actually will still have to approach females but the great thing is this is you can sense this see how we say females can sense pheromones and things like that and many men don't discuss what can the men actually sense you know is it just the females who have that power of sensing things no we as men have that ability as well. What you can do is you can actually sense that she's really into you. When the female is really paying attention to you. Many men honestly just say these kind of things when they just want an ego boost for themselves as well. They feel insecure. They don't, they don't have the balls to approach or they just feel that they're not getting attraction. You know, they might end up saying, oh, that female was looking at me or I just felt it. But it's really on a different level when you genuinely feel that. I've actually approached a female in the past few days. Because I was just getting this strong kind of vibe from her. She wasn't even really looking at me that much. I caught her looking at me time to time. But most females that I saw before, they were literally staring at me. But this one, I was just getting a different kind of vibe from her. And I was like, this female just wants me to really approach her. And this was not coming from an ego to ego um, ego kind of place, you know? Egoistic, is that the word? But yeah, it's not coming from that place. It was just, I was getting that vibe from her. So, in her mind, she's already said yes to the conversation. Like, she just wants your number. She just wants to get to know you already, okay? I mean, this is how my mindset has changed. Now I realize this, that she's already said yes. So, all you have to do go up approach and talk you know literally like you go call the girl to you as if you guys see a female looking at you 
even smiling a little, even not smiling, but she's looking at you. She's not taking her gaze off you. Or she's constantly looking at you and you can sense that she just wants to talk to you. You call her over. Tell her, come here. Tell her, come here. Because I saw you looking at me. I know you find me attractive. I, I find you attractive as well. Just talk about anything. You know, it's really simple to be completely honest. <coughs> Excuse me. Females just become a lot more feminine when they see and feel your, they smell your pheromones, they see a masculine man, they can just tell. Even if you're not like this completely big, broad-shouldered, big-chested dude walking on the street, they can just tell that you are a very secure person, very masculine guy who's really after his goals more than anything else. See, another thing I've realized is we as men, we as humans, forget about even men, we as humans have the discipline that we actually want. We're able to really take control of our minds. Many people think they have a limit to where they can go up to. And that limit is what is stopping you from getting to that next level. See, when you think about this, like my mind just blew up. Like I was just like, wow, this is so true. Like I know we've heard of David Goggins doing some insane things, but I mean, it really is that way. You have a lot more in yourself for whatever that may be. It could be a physical activity. It could be a mental activity. But you have a lot more in you to actually achieve something. You can actually go a lot further than you possibly may think. Now, obviously, this does not mean going insane and just, you know, sitting at a computer reading articles all day without eating or anything. You know, we're on team retention we're men we know what's normal we know how to do healthy we're part um we know how to do healthy habits we're part of the one percent so we know what is healthy and we know how to take care of things and to put them at a certain extent so this is what i realized though you really have a lot more in you than you might think physically mentally you have a lot more but it's just that you have to work towards that you have to start small. You can't go straight into something that's difficult for you and you can't just start doing it hardcore. If you do, you're more than likely to stop that activity. This can apply to nofap and team retention as well. You might end up just ejaculating because you're so focused on the fact that you're on team retention. And then you take that to a different level of discipline where you just feel even if I see something in a movie, it might really trigger my urges like to a crazy extent. And it probably will, especially if you're new to it. If you're in this journey for a while, it won't have that much of an effect on you. But if you're new to this and you start going hardcore, hard mode, no PMO from the very beginning, no porn masturbation orgasm from the very beginning, then you're more than likely to relapse. Yeah, guys, so this really is the kind of mind-opening things that happen on NoFap and Seamer Intention. Many people don't really discuss this or get really in-depth with it. I hope I got in-depth with it to an extent where you guys actually understood it and actually got the answer to the video. So if you guys enjoyed it, please hit the like button down below. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. If you guys um, have any comments about future videos leave them in the comment section below also check out my patreon page check out my snapchat you guys have any questions about anything you want to vent to me even email me man so many men are emailing me i freaking love it all right guys let's be on heroes man